Hi everyone and welcome to Kennedy High School. Artificial intelligence or AI is a very integral part of our lives and is only going to advance more rapidly over time. AI is said to displace hundreds of millions of workers. So we as educators and educational leaders really need to think about how AI impacts the world we live in now and in the future. AI is just a new form of technology where humans do not have to code every single thing. So it's a piece of software that kind of not thinks on its own, but it operates by itself. We see it with, obviously, with Tesla and the self-driving car and it taking in all that information and making decisions. Unfortunately, it's anywhere money can be made, for better or for worse. Anywhere money can be made, you're going to see AI. If you don't already, you will. We need to be on the, the leading edge of it. This is, to me, like going to the moon. I see that 100% changing how we operate as a society, as a race. Um, it's, I think it's going to really change the way we do almost everything. I want our students to understand that we are on the precipice of change in job culture and in what we do, and that they need to be aware that some of those jobs aren't going to be around. We are preparing them for a future, and my fear comes from what if we're preparing them for jobs that won't exist? What if there are no jobs for them? It just keeps, every, every day it seems like there's one more foothold um, of, of machine learning taking over things. How do I look at my own children? How do I look at these kids that I'm teaching and say, we've trained you, but we have nothing for you to do? I do believe that the jobs will revolve around more of the generative learning or generative models. And they need to put themselves in a position and recognize that they want to start to look at what they want to do and could AI take it over? And then maybe that's not the job for them. I think it's kind of fear mongering if you're just banning it completely. I think the best way to use AI is to teach it both the good and the bad. So that way we know all about it so that we can use it in the best way possible. I think that we need to make sure that's part of why I think it's important um, to have AI school-wide, not just in a pathway, but the school-wide approach to AI. It became a question for me, not of fear, but of where do we go with this? So we were thinking about how can we incorporate AI into our curriculum, and we thought Frankenstein would be the perfect fit, right? Frankenstein was about two characters. Their ambition is what drove each other to their ends, to their ruins. And um, it's kind of like what we are facing with science and technology today. You know, if we don't learn to control that ambition, we're going to allow AI to control us. In the living earth, this is our first year really exploring with using AI images in our class, uh, as well as ChatGPT. The students are thinking about their communities through community walks, and then they're taking the pictures that they've taken from their community walks, and they're bridging them together with the, visualiz with the AI visualization. And they're thinking about their futures, like what will this community look like and what is the impact that I have on my community and what can we do to mitigate these future issues. We're trying to give them this overall idea so that when they get out into the workforce or get moving towards it, they can pick a, a lane or a way to go and be successful. I absolutely see as an opportunity. I, I think that these generative large language model AI systems that have come out are going to be game changers. They already are game changers. And for me as a professional, I need to know how to use them in my environment. But as an educator, I need to know how to tell my kids to use them. We do have to be aware that it would take jobs, but I feel like it would take that job away, but create other ones. I think that is where AI is really valuable because it is taking the jobs that don't have to be done by humans and that's not replacing them and removing them, it's allowing us to allocate those human resources to other areas that need them. There was, there was a job listing that, we were, that I saw that our principal saw last week that we were talking about requiring no technical aptitude or ability writing prompts and it paid $375,000 a year. AI is here to stay. So I think it's, student, it's important for us to empower the students to understand what can AI do? Um, what are some of the benefits, right? What are some of the drawbacks? And then how can they control it? AI technologies are rapidly changing the way we live from revolutionizing how we work and communicate to shaping our travel and healthcare systems. Our hope is that our students will be well-educated and informed about AI and technology now and in the future.